Hi, my name is Cold Beer and let's start with Hollow Knight. This is a classic 2D action adventure platformer game. You'll explore twisting caverns, ancient cities, and deadly wastes, encounter battle tainted creatures, befriend bizarre bugs, and solve ancient mysteries at the kingdom's heart. The game is hard and is often compared to Dark Souls. Keep that in mind before you fall in love with those lovely graphics. They are quite deadly. People are talking that if there was a museum of games, Hollow Knight would definitely have an exposition there because of a nice art it consists of. Yeah, the whole game is an art piece, you can't deny that. And if you don't like bugs, you will get your chance to kill a few hundred of them, or be killed by them. Yeah, that's more likely. There are a lot of bug-like different creatures infesting these lands, and only you can exterminate them with your gaming skills. There are plenty of good bugs as well, so I don't know what this game teaches us. I guess, be friends with friends and be enemies with enemies. Slay the Spire Overwhelmingly positive reviews should get your attention. Almost 100,000 people are recommending this game for you, and so do I. Slay the Spire is a fuse of card games and roguelike titles. Here you can craft a unique deck, encounter bizarre creatures, and discover relics of immense power while trying to climb up the ladder. Game features a dynamic deck building. Assemble your deck wisely. Discover hundreds of cards to add to your deck with each attempt at climbing the spire. Select cards that work together to efficiently dispatch foes and reach the top. That won't be easy, I'm not gonna lie, but every attempt will get you a bit higher. Insert joke about weed here. Yeah, by yourself. Because last time I got demonetized when I did the actual joke about weed. People on Steam are talking that Slay the Spire is really addictive. And yeah, I'm seeing a lot of hours played in the comment section. 200 is quite a casual number here. So this is another game that will keep your virginity safe and sound for a long time. Soma. This is one of the best story games I have ever played. Here you'll explore an abandoned, isolated underwater facility full of scary things, or you must find a way out. It's really hard to talk about Soma without spoiling the story, but in general you will spend a lot of time in confined spaces filled with spooky monsters. You have no guns, no means of self-defense are available in this game. You can only hide, or run, or die. If you played Amnesia, it's kinda the same, just in science fiction setting. Really reminds me of Alien Isolation as well. Although Soma has a better plot. It's like playing a novel or a short story. You're not just wandering in the dark all scared all alone. No, you're wandering in there for a reason, but you don't know what that reason is yet. And I can only guess that the ending of this game will surprise you. It surprised me, that's for sure. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden this is a tactical game that combines the turn-based combat of XCOM with a real-time stealth and exploration of a post-human world reclaimed by nature and mutants. Yep, mutants, but not the ordinary kind. It seems that he will control something that looks like Donald Duck and his friend Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. To survive, companions must venture out of the city to explore the zone where one day they might find the Eden of Legends. The Ancient's Haven in the middle of hell. I guess with mountains of potato salad and rivers of great Swedish vodka. Maybe you'll find all your answers there. Then again, maybe it's all bullshit. The game has really beautiful graphics, great humor and an interesting story. Also very positive reviews on Steam. Noita. The game which will allow you to dive into adventure without sinking many hours preparing for battle. Noita is a magical action roguelite set in a world where every pixel is physically simulated. Here you will fight, melt, burn, freeze and evaporate your way through the procedurally generated world using spells you created by yourself. So Fetus Delitus is an option at last. You will explore a variety of environments ranging from coal mines to freezing wastelands while delving deeper in search for unknown mysteries and use your magic to crush your enemies and manipulate the world around you. The game is really fun and the rare owner of overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. That alone should put this game onto your radar. Neo 2 The Complete Edition here you can create your own original protagonist and embark on an adventure that will take you through the devastated lands across Japan during the Sengoku period. Much like the previous title, which gained much praise from the fans and critics alike, Neo 2 contains an original story and a lot of action. However, Neo 2 goes beyond its predecessor by including the new Yokai Shift ability, which allows you to utilize new powerful forms to defeat even the most formidable demons. People on Steam are talking that this game is a masterpiece, well-balanced game with a 
replayability value, but definitely not for those who suck at Souls-like games. For example, I managed to die several times while playing Fallen Order on story mode, so I just watched how others die Neo and then repeat the process over and over again. It's really entertaining to watch others suffer and rage. About that, we have a great saying in Lithuania, Svetimos Kosmo, Nebuna, which translates into something like, you can't feel the pain if it's not you who's hurting. So yeah, let's watch others suffer in Neo. Middle Earth Shadow of War Definitive Edition this looks like a very good deal. For 750, you will get not only Shadow of War main game, but also all the DLCs. They may not be very good, some of them even have mostly negative reviews, but as I can see, it's mainly because of the price. But now the price is nice. You can buy the main game for 6 euros, but if you add 150, you get all the DLCs as well. I think it's a good deal no matter how you look at it. And in game, you will go behind enemy lines to forge your army, conquer fortresses, and dominate Mordor from within. Experience how the award-winning Nemesis system creates unique personal stories with every enemy and follower, and confront the full power of Dark Lord Sauron and his ring rates. People on Steam are joking that the Nemesis system here makes up better stories than the actual main story of the game. Also, keep in mind that the Shadow of War is a bit grindy and may, you know, grind your gears if you're not a fan of such things. Wilder Myth overwhelmingly positive reviews. There, that should get your attention. Wilder Myth is a character-driven, procedurally generated tactical RPG. Like the best tabletop role-playing experiences, Wilder Myth gives you choices and answers your every decisions with the consequences that drive your characters forward. But the best thing is that all heroes die someday. Yeah, that is probably not the best thing, to be honest, but you get to hold on to your favorites, reintroduce them into the next adventure, and over many lifetimes you create your own legendary Pantheon. This game is great. And now I want to recommend to you one YouTube channel called Should You Play It? We gave each other a few shoutouts in the past month, and this is the last one from my side. Should You Play It? is a channel about free games. Mostly they talk about epic deals about upcoming free games, they guess what the next free game could be, and they are often right. They are part-time oracles, I'm sure of that. Channel is being run by two dudes, and it's a calm, chill channel. They are not overacting, just being themselves. So go and follow them, and you will not miss a great free game ever again. Also, instead of casual cold beer sent me, just write penis in their comments and do not explain why. <laughs> Civilization 6 if you want to keep your virginity strong, this game is one of the best ways to never lose it. Although Civilization games are definitely not for everyone. The sheer amount of mechanics can really be overwhelming for a new player and not everyone likes to read a lot and enjoy changing numbers and colors on the map. To be fair, for everyone who never played Civilization, the game looks like a simple, boring board game. But the trick is that this simplicity is just a tip of a dick. It's way more complex than it seems. Basically, here you can become the ruler of the world by establishing and leading the the best civilization from the Stone Age to the Information Age. And of course, I'm talking about Mighty Cold Beristan. <laughs> Bioshock, the collection. Wow, this is a really great thing, and I have found it by the accident. That's what she said. Yeah, because it's not appearing in the search bar, you can only find it when you actually click on any Bioshock game and then scroll down a little. So, this awesome pack contains all three Bioshock games and five DLCs just for 12 euros, or almost $14 if you have a hard time converting normal money to, you know, to dollars. Bioshock is an iconic franchise consisting of critically acclaimed first person shooter games with an amazing story and atmosphere. You have my sincere their recommendations. Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon This is a massive, challenging action RPG that drops players into a vast open world full of different creatures. Game was completely underrated when it initially came out, but now it's regaining its glory and I've heard that the second part is in the works as well. Dragon's Dogma shares its open nature with games like Skyrim and Witcher, but has more strategy and more dynamic fights. It's a tougher game in general, but if you like to explore the open world and love fantasy games, you will probably like it as well. Although be warned, Dragon's Dogma Dogma is Japanese game and it comes with all the advantages and disadvantages of that. You know, like most of the heroes are anime-like beautiful-faced younglings, so be sure you are into that stuff. And now as always, don't forget to check out GOG weekly sale as well, they have great deals! You will find the link in the description below. All their games are DRM free and refunds are supported for up to 30 days. Way better than Steam. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time, bye.